Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video and we're doing a new feature on the channel for today's second video. So we're going to do a little bit of forecasting for the United States. Uh, we're going to be looking at the ECM WF Extended uh, model and looking at mean cell pressure, 500 millibar height, temperature and precipitation anomalies for the United States of America. Uh, going out for the next six weeks. So it takes us into like the middle part of November because the further out you go, the more unreliable uh, it gets. And uh, I shall get on back for you in a moment just to say that the first video release today was the 6 a.m. upload. And uh, we've also got a live stream coming up at 6 p.m. this evening. We'll be live streaming our 10 to 14 days straight after that. We will have the uh, first Christmas uh, Sneaky Peaky. So that will be coming up at 7pm as soon as the live stream ends. I will uh, make the Sneaky Peaky public. And, uh, and yeah, so it's going to be a busy old evening uh, here on uh, the channel. But I uh, want to do this uh, video because um, back in the day, you know, like a year or so ago, I used to do weekly weather forecasts for the uh, United States. And uh, then I had a few issues over on in the year, so I stopped doing a lot of the uh, extra videos. One of them that I stopped was the USA forecast. But uh, I wanted to bring the USA forecast back, bring, bring back some forecasting for America. Um, but I wasn't sure on the on the format that, that would um, be ideal for that. Um, but I think this should be okay. This is like uh, one of the world's um, leading uh, models, you know, one of the best models uh, from one of the world's leading forecast centres, ECMWF. So we shall see how we get on. If you want to see more extended uh, forecasts for the United States, then please can you give a like to the video and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much uh, for doing that. Right, so at ECMWF.INT, thank you so much to them for supplying us uh, with the charts. Let's have a look then. So this is the week one mean sea level pressure anomaly for this week, taking us from the third through to the 10th of October. We see that we've got a big ridge dominating across many parts of it. So just so everybody knows where we are, that's the Pacific coast of America. That's the West Coast. This is the East Coast, of course, just here. That's Florida, for example. New York would be around there somewhere. This is like the Canadian border. Uh, just here, so to the north of that, we've got we've got Canada. South of that, we've got America. This would be like the southern border with uh, Mexico down there. That is the Gulf of Mexico, uh, of course, just there. Right, so that's a little bit of geography <laughs> out of the way. So uh, in the um, in this week, we've got high pressure dominating across many many parts of America. At some point, I'm probably going to say Europe with this because I do use this model uh, for extending European. Uh, Outlooks as well, so I'm bound, so far I'm bound to say Europe rather than America. But in this week, we've got high pressure dominating across most parts of Central and Western America. There is a trough over in the Far East, and what this does, of course, it brings up uh, southerly winds up the western side of America, so warm up west, you would you would have thought, and brings down northerly winds into the eastern part of America. So uh, by the look of that, it should be cold in the east and warm in the west, but we'll confirm that with the temperature anomaly in a moment. Here's a 500 millibar height anomaly looking very uh, similar, with below average heights again through this eastern side, above average heights, high pressure through the western side, that same jet stream, uh, northwards up western side of America, and then southwards uh, on the eastern side of America. So again, it implies uh, in the west we're brought, bringing up those warm southerly winds. In the east, we're going to be bringing down quite cold northerly winds, potentially. That's what we see from a temperature anomaly, a proper east-west split. So the western states looking pretty warm, or even quite hot, actually. Uh, the temperature anomaly here for these northwestern states, like uh, Seattle, for example, Seattle State, um, we find, or Washington State, uh, of course, which is, uh, the capital is Seattle. <laughs> I do know my uh, American geography, I promise you. So um, we see that uh, we're like 6 to 10 degrees above average there, where we've got those deep red colors. So it's a really warm temperature anomaly out to west. Conversely, though, in the east, it's a much colder scene um, with uh, deep blue colors there, indicating temperature anomalies around 3 to 6 below average. Remember, this is Celsius by by the way, so you've got to do your C to F conversion if you want to know about Fahrenheit. Um, so, uh, where we've got these 
deep blue colours for here. That is like three to six degrees below average. So really quite cold across much of northern, eastern, northeastern America. And then in between, we've got the area where the high pressure is actually sitting. And the temperatures are a little bit near and all. Something like um, Denver, probably having relatively warm, or Colorado, uh, generally, having, uh, uh, generally having relatively warm uh, 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 days, but quite cold, frosty nights, which is quite typical, you know, for, for Colorado at this time of the year. Precipitation wise, it's very dry across most parts of the states, with two exceptions. We're wet uh, on the east coast, just there. Probably from the remains of a hurricane or tropical storm or something they would have thought. And we're pretty wet down here in the far south as well, interestingly. So, uh, like Nevada, Oklahoma, those sort of states look like they could, not Nevada, um, Oklahoma, Arizona look like they could be uh, a little bit wetter. But main parts of the states actually, particularly like the northwest, looking very dry. And much of the east is also looking very dry as well. From the bread basket and into those eastern states, many areas drier than normal, dominated by that area of high pressure. Right, week two will be the 10th to the 17th of October. So it looks, it looks like the ridge is sort of starting to extend through uh, from the west into many parts of America. The trough of low pressure may be uh, easing away a little bit up towards the uh, north. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar height anomaly. That still looks very similar actually. So again we have the above average heights here out in the west with uh, the jet stream lifting up and then have the dip in the jet stream within the 500 millibar flow with a chuff of low pressure over in the east and in the northeast. So again that implies it would probably bring up quite warm air at the western side and probably bring down quite cold air into the eastern side uh, of, uh, of America there, I would have thought. The week two temperature are not even the temperature of the 17th of October. Again, east-west split. So much of the west and the northwest, right way down this western coast and up into uh, northwestern Canada as well, interestingly. Uh, significantly warmer than average. Meanwhile, though, further eastwards, we find that these eastern states are uh, colder again. So, like from the Midwest into the east, into the northeast, below average temperatures. Should be there. In between, again, we have this area where the high pressure is centered, probably. Uh, and so that would be near and normal with the temperature, and not only probably with uh, relatively warm days being offset by cold nights. Very typical for those, uh, through those. Um, uh, central states. I mean, down in the south, a little bit cooler than average again, somewhere like Arizona looking uh, as though it could be below average with the temperature desert climate, of course. Precipitation wise, we look like that. So, pretty wet down in the south, which is quite unusual. That's like in the normally very dry areas across those southern states. Um, no uh, wet through there. Otherwise, it's generally quite dry. High pressure still in control in most areas by the look of it. So another relatively dry week. Warm in the west, cold in the east. Right, we're cooking with gas for now. Week 3 is the 17th to 24th of October. Looks like that. Some lower pressure may be getting closer towards the west coast. High pressure down across the southern states. Maybe just a bit of a weakening of the ridge going on there. Let's have a look. 500 millibar height anomaly. So still suggesting some sort of trough in the 500 millibar flow across these eastern parts of America. Meanwhile, out west, still suggesting higher pressure is likely to be through there. So, so relatively dry there, more unsettled over there, you would have thought. The uh, temperature anomaly looks like that still with the east-west split, still cooler or colder than average in these east states. Gradually, week by week, those colder temperature, temperature lines are getting squeezed a little bit further eastwards, you will notice. Meanwhile, out in west in the northwest, it's significantly warmer than average week once again. Still looking pretty cool as well, I think, down in these southern states. So, like, it's the south and the east, I think, where we've got the cooler temperatures, and then the north and the west, where we tend to have those warmer temperatures into the middle part of October. The uh, precipitation anomaly uh, looking like this. Once more, quite dry across many of these central and northern states. It's a little bit wetter still through these southern states. Uh, and maybe trying to get a little bit wetter towards the west coast as well. So, low pressure looks like it's trying to get in from off the west coast uh, as we get into the middle of October. 
Right, week four will be the 24th to the 31st of October for the United States. It's looks like, it looks like this, some lower pressure across these northern states, higher pressure down here in the southwest, and still some low pressure lurking towards the Pacific northwest as well, potentially. 500 millibar height anomaly, looks like that. So uh, a ridge building in from uh, the Pacific southwest and going up to the north. There could be a trough of low pressure somewhere through here still. The model kind of lost that, but I reckon there might still be a trough of low under that, under this uh, ridge. And then low pressure's out here again, trying to get in to those uh, Pacific Northwestern states. The temperature anomaly looks like that. Bit of a warm up going on. So uh, still a bit cooler average from like Florida in the far south, but otherwise near a normal these eastern states and um, again maybe central western and northern states actually going warmer than normal as we get through into uh, week four which is the 24th 31st of october halloween of course uh the precipitation anomaly for the final week of october looks like that very uh very sketchy now so probably still hinting more than anything on being a little bit on the drier side although it does look potentially a bit wetter through those northwest states. So I think there's low pressure trying to get in from upper Pacific into those western states, which is a very typical scenario, of course, for those northwestern states. Otherwise, quite a weak signal there for week four. Week five will be the 31st of October, 7th of November. If you're enjoying this, it's certainly look ahead for the United States of America. Then please thank you. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much uh, for doing that. Share this video on weather forums, you know, next forums, uh, and social media and whatnot in the states if you can and uh, we're going to try and get uh, get some viewers in from america that would be fun wouldn't it uh right so it's our week four week five is looking 31st of october halloween uh to the 7th of november it looks like that uh, maybe hints of some lower pressure in the north and the east uh, this time. Could a ridge be starting to set up out in the west again? Let's have a look at the 500 millibar height only. Very sketchy now. Very sketchy. High pressure actually is building up towards Canada. Uh, Eastern Canada, anyway, with low pressure trying to come in from off the Atlantic, oh, I'm talking about from off the Pacific Ocean, <laughs> there's my, there's my mishap, you know, from where I'm normally forecasting for, uh, we're normally looking at, I'm normally looking at the Atlantic, where we're coming off the Atlantic, where I am, in, uh, in the UK and in Europe, no, that low pressure is coming in off the Pacific Ocean there, uh, and heading into those northwestern states, potentially, otherwise I'm going to put in a ton of question marks, because it's not overly clear, what's happening there in the first week of November. But the temperature anomaly is warming up, so it's definitely a warm-up going on for the central and eastern parts of America, the Midwest to the east. Definitely a warm-up going on uh, as we progress week by week, starting off cold, but by November, we get into some relatively mild weather. And then out to west, it's uh, closer to average or has no signal. And the precipitation anomaly Definitely turning wetter in the northwest. So reverting to a more typical scenario with low pressure coming in off the Pacific into those northwestern states. Quite dry down here in the south. Otherwise, again, the signals are pretty weak for precipitation, as they often are with long-range models. And then week six is going to be the 7th to the 14th of November. That's how it looks. So uh, once more, some lower pressure through the central parts of America, uh, maybe. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar height anomaly. So uh, that suggests high pressure, again, across east and northeast parts of Canada and to the northeast of America. Um, you will think that's probably going to draw up quite warm air from the south, I would have thought. So you would have thought, like, eastern, northeast America could be quite warm with this ridge of high pressure, mild, I suppose, as it's November. Um, losing the trough a little bit, though, out to the uh, northwest. The temperature anomaly, finally, for week six, uh, looks like that. Generally quite warm across most parts of central, midwestern, and also eastern America, and up in the north as well, just out here in the west at the temperature anomaly. Normally, it's closer to average or has no signal. And then lastly, the precipitation anomaly looks like that. So dry in the southeast, interestingly, 
So by this point, I suppose tropical uh, developments are beginning to wind down and so on. And maybe still a little bit on the wet side in the uh, northwest. So dry in, in the southeast, wet in the northwest. It is six weeks away, though. So it's a long way off. Right, well, what do we make of that then, uh, everyone? So it looks like October is going to be quite cold, certainly through most of it, through the Midwest and into the East, warmer out into the West. We get into November, a little bit of a flip going on here uh, with uh, the milder weather shunting eastward, so becoming quite mild across Central and Eastern America and the West, possibly having a little bit of a cool down, especially up in the Northwest, if those areas of low pressure start coming in off the Pacific Ocean into those Northwestern states. It could get quite cool and wet then. But, uh, but yeah, interesting, interesting October, anyway, looking quite cold for October across much of Central and Eastern and Midwestern and Northeastern America. And if you enjoyed this x forecast using ECMWF.INT, and thank you so much to ECMWF.INT for supplying the charts. If you enjoy this extended six weeks look at for the United States, then please you like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, and uh, we'll do it again next Wednesday. I'm going to be live streaming for 10 to 14 day for the UK and for Europe tonight at 6 p.m. or this evening at 6 p.m. And then we've got a Christmas sneaky beaky coming up straight after. But for this uh, first USA extended forecast, that's all for now. And thanks so much.